Inside Elon Musk's insane collection of cars. Elon Musk, the richest person in the world, does not just like electric cars. Despite being the CEO and driving force behind Tesla, 49-year-old Musk is a big fan of things on four wheels. Elon Musk has a cars collection that envy every single billionaire in the world. Watch the video until the end to know the whole cars in Musk's collection. And also because we have a little surprise for you at the end of the video about a secret Elon Musk j Number 1, Tesla Model S Performance. When asked which car he drives the most, Musk admitted it was his Tesla Model S, described by Top Gear magazine as a game changer. This four-door, five-seat EV is the benchmark for plug-in vehicles, and the performance model comes with Ludicrous Mode, a launch system that can take the Model S from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a rectal worrying time of less than 3 seconds. But for Musk, the best may still be to come. According to Musk, Tesla is working on a powertrain upgrade that will take Ludicrous Mode to the next level plaid. Nerds will recognize the reference from Mel Brooks' Spaceballs. We can't wait for it to arrive so that our brains will finally go to our feet. If so that our brains will finally go to our feet. If so that- Number 2, Porsche 911 Turbo. Musk always had a soft spot for 911s and who can blame him? The iconic and legendary sports car has been refined and perfected for decades and remains one of the ultimate driver's cars. For Musk, though, there was a small niggle with the 911 that he couldn't quite get over. The gas-guzzling engine. So when Musk met ambitious engineer J.B. Straubel in 2003 to discuss their ideas for future tech, the topic that grabbed Musk's attention was that of battery-powered cars. Straubel had been working with Alan Cocconi, who had successfully made a prototype e car, the T0, and Musk was smitten. At first he tried to buy it, but when Cocconi refused, Musk asked him to turn his 911 into an F. Put a lithium-ion pack in my car, Musk begged. I have a Porsche. You can take the guts out of it and make it an electric. I'd be willing to pay you up to a quarter million dollars. Cocconi still wouldn't bite, but he put Musk in touch with a couple of guys who had an e-car startup of their own called Tesla. It cost Musk $30 million to get involved, and the rest is sorry, we were talking about the Porsche 911. Number 3, Audi Q7. Back when Elon had a very large young family, his first wife, Justine, gave birth to twins in 2004 and triplets in 2006, his Tesla company were concentrating on building a two-seater car, so the Musks needed something bigger for their brood. He chose what was then one of the world's most luxurious SUVs, the Audi Q7, and he wasn't overly impressed, he loved the style, not the substance. When it launched in 2006, it was one of the largest, most refined off-roaders money could buy, but there was one significant problem. Even though it had a third row of pop-up chairs, making it a fully-fledged seven-seater, access wasn't easy. The Audi Q7 is particularly horrendous, said Musk. Even in the best-case scenario, you need to be a dwarf mountain climber to get into the back seat. With apologies to mountain climbers of any size, but he had a point. He also had a solution. When developing Tesla's Model X, Musk specified that his SUV should feature Falcon wing doors to enable easier access to the back seats, especially in tight parking spaces. So now, whenever Musk travels with the family or small groups of Sherpas, he doesn't have any Number 4, Tesla Roadster. In 2008, Tesla finally unveiled their first electric car, the Roadster, Aka Project Dark Star. Based on the chassis of a Lotus Elise, it used lithium-ion batteries, had a range of 227 miles, could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds, at the time, that made its acceleration as fast as a Lamborghini Gallardo, and the first lucky owner of a Roadster was Elon Musk. Musk used it as his daily drive for years, until he finally decided to give it a glorious send-off. However, rather than advertise it on eBay, Elon had it loaded into his SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket, stuck a dummy he named Starman in the passenger seat, with Space Oddity playing on the stereo, and launched it into space on 6 February 2018. It's just going to be out there in number 5, McLaren F1. The three-seater hypercar was capable of 240 miles per hour. Elon claimed to have hit 215 miles per hour on a private runway, and Musk used his like a company car often commuting from law to San Francisco in it. Despite putting 11,000 miles on it, Musk was so confident he wouldn't be one of those cliched rich guys that buys a sports car and crashes it, he didn't even bother getting insurance. Fast forward to 2000, and Musk was heading to an investment meeting with his friend Peter Thiel when his passenger asked. So, Elon what can this thing do? To which Musk replied. Watch this. 
In the subsequent accident, both men emerged unhurt. Number 6 Hammond BMW M5. There is no much information on this car, but we know in fact that Elon Musk owns it. According to a report from Vanity Fair, the Hammond BMW M5 is among the most impressive sports cars because the 8-cylinder engine in the M5 is the strongest standard engine. BMW tuning specialist Hammond had its wicked way with an M5 and turned an already fabulous car into a thing of Bavarian wonder. By tinkering and delimiting the 5-liter V10 engine, Hammond was able to boost its output to 603 bhp and up the M5's top speed from a restricted 155 miles per hour to a staggering 199 miles per hour. Not bad for a four-seater family car. It was a car so mad that maybe it helped Musk come up with the idea for the ludicrous mode he introduced for test number 7, BMW 320i. You never forget your first car and Musk's was a little beauty. This was the first iteration of the legendary BMW 3 Series and was unveiled at the Olympic Stadium in Munich in 1975. It was an instant hit in Europe with that distinctive kidney grill and a punchy fuel-injected 2-liter engine that could do 0 to 60 miles per hour in just over 10 seconds and had a top speed of 112 miles per hour but didn't reach the United States until 1977. Musk bought one second hand for just $1,400 in 1994, and, truth be told, he got what he paid for. He kept the car for a few years until one day he allowed one his ZIP2 interns to run a few errands in it, and one of the wheels fell off. However, the Musk success story kept on rolling, and when his first company was sold in 1999, he made $22 million for his 7% share. Number 8, Lotus Esprit. Ah, Mr. Musk, we've been expecting you the auctioneers must have been thinking when Elon's representative entered the bidding for this iconic piece of automotive James Bond memorabilia in 2013. And they weren't disappointed. The modified Lotus Esprit, dubbed Wet Nelly, was created by a company in Florida and cost $100,000, and although it only served as an underwater prop, not a real amphibious car, you do realize The Spy Who Loved Me wasn't a documentary? It didn't deter Musk from paying nearly $1 million for it. It was amazing as a little kid in South Africa to watch James Bond drive his Lotus Esprit off a pier, press a button, and have it transform into a submarine underwater," said Musk. I was disappointed to learn that it can't actually transform. What I'm going to do is upgrade it with a Tesla electric powertrain and try to make it transform for real. Altogether now you must be joking, Elon. I never joke about my work, GQ Musk didn't say, but we wish he had. GQ Musk didn't say, but we wish he had. G Number 9, E-Type Jaguar Roadster. Musk calls his E-Type Jaguar his first love, and he fell for it at the age of 17. It was 1988, the year before he decided to move to Canada, and someone gave him a book of the greatest classic convertibles ever made. The one I liked the best was the E-Type, and I said, well, if I can ever afford it, that is the car I am going to get. And so that's why I bought it. Having launched his first company in 1995, a software business called ZIP2, some of his venture capitalist investors gave Musk $40,000, and that was all the excuse he needed. He spent most of the money on an old E-Type, and it was so unreliable it actually broke down on the drive back from the dealership. Not that it put Elon off he still owns the Jaguar to Number 10, Ford Model T. The first attempt at a mass-produced car for the general public, Henry Ford's Model T was released in October 1908 and is considered the most influential car of the 20th century, much to the chagrin of the Renault Espace. This description probably explains why a friend of Musk's gifted him a Model T, so the most influential car maker of the 21st century, we can argue about that later, had something to compare his Tesla creation to. Upon its release, the Model T cost just $850. For that money, you can buy half a Tesla Model S carbon fiber spoiler. I now the secret thing Musk have been hiding from all of us. Arrow minus 39 lira albatros dot as well as a love of cars, when Musk felt the need, the need for speed, he opted for something with a little more oomph. Probably the most fun plane I have is a Russian fighter jet, Musk said. It has a Czech airframe, a Ukrainian engine, Russian avionics. It's what they used to train their fighter pilots on, so it's incredibly acrobatic. The plane in question was an Aero-39 Lira Albatros designed in the 1960s by Aero Vodacity and introduced into the Czech military at the start of the 1970s. Literally, it was just like in Top Gun he continued. You're no more than a couple of hundred feet above the ground, following the contour of the mountains. 
We came up to a mountain, did a vertical climb up the side of it, inverted. Turned upside down. Yeah, that was fun. It's like a roller coaster. Only you go much farther up and down. But your butt hurts if you fly in it for more. Which one of these cars did you like the most? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to never lose videos like